as I was saying, the guy catches the two these this one guy getting head from this one girl. And the guy's all like, Hey, what are you saying, a pervert? So the big chunky guy shoots the guy in the car, he's all like and then he gets out the car and the hooker is all like but while they're they're arguing, the guy in the bag is all like, uh, uh moving the girl's head faster. And then he shoots the gun and the girl screams, of course she's all like, Oh shit! Oh no! And then like runs away and then the bad guy tries shooting her but he misses like he gets her but like not to the point where not where she could fall down and be all like I can't live anymore but he does shoot her and then the priest comes out and no not the priest <laughs> my bad the counselor comes out and he's all I'm gonna just camera back a little bit Anyways, the psychiatrist, oh my head, looks like I don't have any hair. Well, the, the psychiatrist dude person comes out, and he's all like, oh, so this is where you work. And he, well, he's saying that he's like buckling up his pants, because he's just got getting done getting blowjob, kind of. He's all like, so this is where you work. He's all like, give me the gun, you don't want to do this, this is not good for you. And the guy, the crazy guy, is all like... <laughs> <laughs> I do what I want to. He doesn't really talk throughout the whole movie. I'm like, he only like goes like, he's <coughs> like, because he's got asthma. But he doesn't talk throughout the movie, and he's all like, <laughs> and then shoots his psychologist, and he, he he shoots him, and he cries at the same time, and then he like kills him, like, poosh, shoots him on his like. Let's just say he shot his both heads. As I was saying, um, yeah, and then he like kills him, and then he goes after the hooker, and then he finds the hooker at the end of the stairs, and he's all like, she's all like, don't hurt me, please, and the guy's all like, touches her face, he's all like, ah, oh, so soft, I'm pretty sure he was thinking that, but then he's all like, so soft, and the girl goes, no, don't hurt me, I'm just kidding, and then there's like this spray thing, he's all like, take this bitch. But the motherfucker is wearing glasses, so I doubt it got in his eye. I'm pretty sure it did, but not as much. So then he beats the shit out of her, knocks her out, takes her back to the place. And this, you know how in Centipede there's like three people tied together? In this movie, there's twelve. Twelve motherfuckers, ass to mouth, in a line. And this guy doesn't even know what the fuck he's doing. He takes like a whole bunch of tools from his house, like scissors, knife, butcher knife, pliers, staple gun, nothing professional. He takes it over to that to his special room. He's got all the people lined up. One of the victims is a pregnant lady. And that sucks. And then like he like does something and then she dies. Or suppose supposedly she dies. But I think she was just knocked out. And then he's all like, oh shit, that's not good. And then he like covers her like you would when a person usually dies, and then puts her away in the corner like fuck you, all right, we're done with you. And then you know how in the movie, I don't know, I forgot Human Centipede, Human Centipede one, if, like they, he marks like their body parts, but in this movie he marked their body parts. He was using his Human Centipede book to like as a guideline or whatever, and then um, he marks it and he cuts it with like. A knife and scissors and this is I don't know about you guys but they didn't really look clean to me <sighs> it's just a fucked up movie and then he cuts and like a whole bunch of blood starts squirting on everything all right and then the first ass this motherfucker cuts so he can like line it up he like marks the triangles like on the ass cheeks here and it was I have a new pencil uh, I paper I need a piece of paper. Where are you, piece of paper? Ah, here we go. All right, my jelly jelly. All right, so he takes. Here's the guy's booty. All right, here's his butt. Right? 
he cuts like triangles like that or like marks triangles like that and then he cuts that part off he cuts that part off right there his first attempt was a failure he bled out from his ass he cut it blood started pouring out of his ass and then he died and then he starts crying because he died he's all like <laughs> and I don't know why he's crying man I, he shouldn't be he shouldn't even be doing this in the first place it's all like what the fuck he cries right so he's all like you know what fuck this shit I'm not gonna do all this lining and shit oh he also like does like on their knees and shit he like marks it he cuts it open and like pulls the stringy thing out and then cuts it with scissors and it looks like it hurts a lot. Anyways, he's all like, man, oh, fuck this shit. I'm not gonna cut their asses. Oh, fuck this. I'm just gonna staple their mouths together. That's what he does. But right before he staples their mouths, he like takes a hammer, knocks each one of their teeth out. That looked like it hurt a lot more than cutting the nails off, uh, the kneecap things off. Cause he's like, K -k -k ah, that was ah, it was horrible. <laughs> that was inappropriate. I'm sorry. Anyways, so yeah, he's like, you know what, fuck this, and then <sighs> takes the faces, puts it on the other people's ass cheeks, and then <laughs> ah, staples their mouth to on the edge of all like, oh shit, oh we're screwed now. And pretty much, and you know how like the uh, first one he got like the professional band-aid shit on there? Well, this guy just used duct tape. And uh, it was horrible. He, oh, and then he's like all happy. He's like, yay, look, my centipede. And this guy has like a real centipede too. He, he feeds him like the real centipede grasshoppers. He's all like, okay, you want it? Here, here's the grasshopper. And then... The, the centipede like hugs the grasshopper and eats the shit out of it literally and then yeah they're all ass to mouth mouth to ass and everything is 12 of them lined up and then all right so there's one part he gives them food tries to give the per there's one girl from the first movie because you know how he was done watching it and there's a scene he's done watching it like in that movie, the Human Centipede 1 is the, a movie. 2. And there's a scene where the girl from the first movie shows... Well, the girl from the first movie is in there. But she thinks it's like an audition for something. She's all like, well, why not did Human Centipede 1? I thought it was amazing because, you know, it can happen in real life. And I'm running out of time again. Hold on.